Now, what do early toilets have to do with robotics, you might ask yourself. Bear with me. We start in Roman times. This graphic depicts how they went about their business, very often in communal setups. Looks like a convivial place to gather for your morning chat. More importantly for today's theme, how did they wipe their bottoms? Well, they used a sponge on a stick called a xylospongium, as seen here. They were kept in tubs of water in front of where they sat. You took one, rinsed it, used it, and put it back for the next person to use. They only had flush toilets when Sir John Harrington invented the first one in 1596, which was remodeled from time to time. Paper became widely available in the 15th century, but one had to be careful of splinters, so Google informed me. Modern commercially available toilet paper didn't originate until 1857. Things were much improved, including a very much improved toilet paper with no splinters. But let's progress to today, and you will note that the Western world has a bit of catching up to do. 65% of Japanese homes have an integrated bidet or washlet, and so do most restaurants, hotels, and shops. The first thing you'll notice when you sit down is that the seat is heated. This toilet seat is able to sense when you are actually sitting on it and immediately does two things. First, it sprays a pre-mist of the bowl, which wets the surface of the toilet bowl to prevent matter from adhering. It's actually 80% more effective than a dry bowl and keeps everything clean without harsh chemicals. Second, you'll hear the air purifier kick on. It draws the air around the toilet into powerful ionized carbon filters to eliminate unpleasant odors. Now, it has artificial intelligence built into the washlet, so after about 10 days, it will learn your pattern of usage. That means the washlet can detect periods of infrequent use and lower the temperature automatically. It can also identify periods of time that the toilet is never used and turn off the temperature and water heater during that time. So this robot toilet seat is actually pretty eco-friendly. And if you're curious about its water usage, it uses less than a half a pint per use. Now, as you can see, there is currently no wand visible. It is protected and only comes out when you're ready for it. The wand is coated with a special silicone alloy, which makes it both antibacterial and extremely resistant to dirt. It is basically non-stick when wet. When the wand comes out, water is running off of it the entire time. Rest assured that the self-cleaning wand is cleaned from top to bottom before, during, and after every use and it's able to do all of this with just plain water. So now this is where it gets really interesting. This is the control panel on the side. You can pay more to have this as a remote control. However, we find this style to be more convenient. There are three types of jets, rear, soft rear, and front. The water is heated and there are three settings that you can adjust as you like. The control panel allows you to customize your experience with a choice of five different water pressures and five wand positions. You can also double click any of these buttons to get an oscillating spray where the jet moves around to cover a larger area. The jet uses very precise angles that allow for a thorough cleansing without unnecessary splashing. The water basically falls straight down and away from the jet. The stream of water is also aerated, which adds to the overall comfort. So finally, after you've used the bidet, it's time for the dryer. And like everything else on the seat, you can adjust the temperature so that you ensure a nice, dry, overall clean feeling. As you walk away, the soft close feature means you'll never have to hear a slammed lid again and you have peace of mind that the air purifying function is gonna kick into double time and turn off on its own after about two minutes. Man, do I want one of those. 